Surgery Bar Talk Show. I'm your host, Kayla Cummings. DQ Surgery Bar is a non-biased platform created for the expressions, experiences about cosmetic surgery of any kind. I'm sure there's something you would like to know. Come on, let's go to the DQ Lab. Today's DQ Lab surgical fact is that lips are the number one facial feature that men are attracted to. Your lips. With that being said, let's meet our guest. Welcome, Ethan, to the Dolls and Queens DQ Surgery Bar. How are you today? Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm doing really good. How are you? Oh, great, great. So tell us, what brings you to the show today? Well, um, I met you a while back and uh, we talked about what I had gotten done and I thought it would be so much fun to get on here and just talk about it. So what exactly did you have done? Tell the world, the viewers, what cosmetic surgical procedure or what body enhancements did you have done? Yeah, so I first started off with um, Botox and a lip flip. Um, I absolutely loved the lip flip, so I decided to do another round of, well, my first round of fillers and my lips, and then I did another round. So I have about um, one half or a half, like a full syringe and then another half of it. So, yeah. so how long ago was your procedure, would you say? How long ago did you do this? Um, my first one was in February of 2022. And then I think I recently went back for more in July. So yeah. Okay. Pretty now, if, if I'm not mistaken, I remember when we spoke one time, um, can you tell the audience a little bit of background about yourself? I mean, why did you feel the need that you had to do? But before that, let's explore another flavor with Ethan about his procedure when we come back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Dolls and Queens DQ Surgery Bar Show. I have a question for you, Ethan. Tell me and tell the viewers, I understand there's a little bit of history behind why you did this. That has to do with culture. Can you tell the audience, tell everybody, what prompted you to do these lip fillers? Why you felt the need you had to do them? Well, growing up, I was um, surrounded by a bunch of beautiful Puerto Rican women. My mom is Puerto Rican and my dad is, um, he's white. And basically, I grew up seeing these women with overlined lips and just beautiful um, features. And honestly, I really wanted to be able to look more like my family. And, um, you know, when you see that growing up and that's like your expectations of like what beauty is, you really want to strive for that. So that was a big part of why I wanted to get bigger lips. Um, yeah. Now you said something that stuck out in that sentence to me about the fact that you grew up around them and you felt that this was something that had to be almost what your image of beauty was. So are you, is it correct to say that because you've seen that, that's what your understanding of beauty was, having fuller lips? Oh yeah, definitely. I remember as a kid, um, my cousins and I, we would always like ask like, oh, who do you think has the bigger lips? Who has bigger lips? And, you know, you never wanted to be the one with the small lips. Mm -hmm. So um, it was definitely like a beauty standard without saying like, oh, like this is how you have to look. It was more like understood and just kind of like a joke. If you had the smaller lips, you weren't, you know. So just... even though you are a male, is it, it's safe to say, that was still pressure on you? Did you feel it was from family, from peers, or I'm just, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of it as far as um, being a baby, seeing this, you just, did you feel the pressure that you, this was something you had to do? Um, not really like from me being a male, it wasn't like, oh, this is what you need to do. When I 
discovered myself more as a gay male and wanting to be more beautiful, more feminine. That was something I kind of really wanted just to feel more excited. I mean, even doing like lipstick looks, overlining my lips, it wasn't even as fun. Um, Now that I have bigger lips, it was, you know, it's a lot easier for me. And I feel that sense of security of being able to look how certain family members look or people I idolized growing up. So I have another question for you and and, um, I just want to not really, I'm not trying to be too personable, but um, do you have a mate and how does it, how has it impacted intimacy or is that something that even you're okay talking about? intimacy having bigger lips um you know how how does it go talk to me yeah so i mean um not to get too too personal but currently i don't have um a spouse or you know a boyfriend anything like that um i do remember you know some of my first relationships wanting to have bigger lips for certain reasons especially you know like kissing wise you want to feel like there's something there, um, personally. And, um, I don't know, it depends on who I'm with. I had a guy I was dating recently. He was like, Oh, did you get lip fillers? And I was like, yeah, I did. And he's like, yeah, don't get any more. And for me, um, I personally don't do my lips for intimacy reasons or to impress, um, a male or try and get them to notice me more. It's more of a confidence thing. Um, Also, I've noticed um, I have a baby face and going out to the clubs and all that, I always get ID'd. Um, But getting these lip fillers, I have not gotten ID'd as much, so. One more question with you is, tell us what advice can you give everybody to share about your experience? Because I'm sure there's somebody out there that has either a similar situation or your exact same situation um, and they haven't done it or they want to do what you did. Um, What advice can you give them? If someone out there is in your situation, what advice can you give them? Um, Personally, I would say you really have to dig deep inside yourself and find, is this something that's going to make me happy because it's something I want or is this something I'm doing to get gratification from others? Um, I mean, I've had both emotions before and I personally did not go into it while I was trying to please other people um I really waited until I was single for a while until I knew what I was doing with my career and um and I I figured out for myself that this is something I want and it's going to make me feel more confident and I went and I did it besides that Never do it for other people. You have to do it if it's going to make yourself happy. Do it if it's going to make yourself happy. Deciding your flavor. When we come back, we're going to see what the other dolls and queens have to say. Welcome back to the show. With all that has been shared by our guests today, Let's consult the DQ advisors. Hello, DQ advisor. Welcome to the show. What's your name and where are you calling from? What's your flavor today? Hi, Kayla. This is Jennifer from Alabama. And I have a question for Ethan. Um, Ethan, you stated that you had some stuff done based kind of on a DNA level, uh, you know, something you could control you were born with, and you had that modified to be um, more accepting to yourself as well maybe as to others. Um, Do you have any plans for future surgeries that you might consider doing uh, based on anything like uh, how you're, you know, unhappy with a portion of your body, or was that primarily kind of just the one and only for you? Um, I actually really want to go in tomorrow and get some more lip filler. Um, if I can, I would love to get a rhinoplasty just because I had an issue with my nose. So maybe that, 
um, just getting it checked out. And I think um, at some point liposuction would be really awesome. But if I don't, I am very happy with um, how I look. If I had the chance to get those things done, maybe I would. I think the rhinoplasty would be the last thing that I would ever do. But um, yeah, if I did do anything else, it would be that. Well, Ethan, I'm going to interject here because if you have other surgeries, I'm going to definitely tell you. I want you to come back to the show and tell us all about it. Would you be willing to do that? I definitely would. Oh, wow. That was a great question. Thank you, caller. Thank you, Dolls and Queens, for allowing my call. I really appreciate it. Thank you, and you have a great day. Thank you. Uh huh. Advisor, welcome to the show. What's your name and where are you calling from? What's your flavor today? Hi Kayla, my name is Alice and I'm calling from New Mexico. Hi Alice from New Mexico. Wow, we're just getting everyone from all over today. How are you? What's your common question or concern or opinion? Tell us. So first of all, I just wanted to say to Ethan that I just find it really inspiring that you're on here because I myself has struggled with gender identity and it's very difficult for me and my background to come forward to my parents and family. So you're truly inspiring me. And I just want to know, at what point did you realize you struggled with identity acceptance? Um, honestly, I grew up as a pastor's child. My parents ran churches my whole life. Um, being a pastor's kid, there was always people looking at you having to be perfect. I knew that I was gay from a young age. I didn't know it was exactly, um, you know, being attracted to men, but I knew I was different and that I did not like girls um, and I was more feminine. Um, I think for me, the best thing that I could do was find a support system and realize that family you love them, but you are who your family is who you surround yourself with. So as long as you surround yourself with good people and that they lift you up, I think that's like the most important, honestly. Wow. Thank you, Ethan. We really appreciate that. Thank you, caller from New Mexico. There you have it from her. Let's get one more advice from another DQ advisor. <laughs> advisor welcome to the show what's your name and where are you calling from what's your flavor today hello kayla my name is phoebe i'm calling in from colorado hey phoebe colorado oh is it cold out there this time of year get in there it's gonna be way colder when it gets to christmas time though okay well talk to us what's what's your opinion what's going on i was just wondering ethan what does your family think of the physical changes you've made to yourself um my dad absolutely hates it um, my mom pretends like she hates it, but she is always asking me about lip fillers and Botox and what she should get done. So I'm very, you know, supportive of her getting lip filler. It's actually funny, though. My dad asked me yesterday about Botox um, because he's starting to see those wrinkles. And yeah, I'm definitely trying to push them to go for it. At first, they weren't very accepting, kind of like everything I do. But at the end of the day, I had to just do what's going to make me happy, especially because they don't pay my bills. So thank you, caller from Colorado, for your opinion. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for allowing me to call. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great day. So our final prognosis with this today is if you want big lips, just go for it. Just get it. Don't worry about what anybody has to say, what anybody's opinion is. Do what you want to do again for you. I would like to thank our guest, Ethan, today for being a part of the Dolls and Queens DQ Surgery Bar Talk Show. We enjoyed your flavor today. Thank you for coming on the show, Ethan, and telling us your story. Thank you so much for having me. It was an honor. Oh, thank you so much, and you have a wonderful day, and stay beautiful. Thank you, too. Hey, everyone. Kayla here with Dallas and Queens DQ Surgery Bar. I'm here with this beautiful, beautiful lady here. What's your name, sweet? Miss Poole from Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Miss Poole! Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, ATL, yes, yes. ATL, Hotland. I'm from Atlanta too. What, okay. what part you from? 
Suburbs. Suburbs. That's Suburbs. good enough. Yes. So, Alpharetta. Alpharetta. I'm from Southside. Okay. College Park, Riverdale area. Okay. But uh, we uh, all Alpharetta have, Country Club of the South. That sounds good. <laughs> Do you feel there should be a size limit on the butt? No, just whatever ma what makes you happy. I don't think it should be a size. Whatever makes you happy. Whatever makes you happy. You hear that? Yes. There's no size, small, big, medium, large, extra large, overly large. Exactly. That's right. She agrees, and I agree with her. Yes, because this is a lot right here, right? And you got to whatever, whatever like this. I love it. They like it, okay? So it is what it is. Hey, there you got it. From this ATL in the building. Remember, there's a flavor for everyone. Woo! 